have everything that I need in this space. So let's move on. And the first drawers, and my first drawers, dame. Okay, again, to some of you who doesn't know, I actually. Our home office is a specialty area that I requested my husband before we moved into this house. This area has served more than just its purpose as a home office. Ironically, this serves also as a relaxing area as my husband and I just spend time here talking to each other and reading some of our favorite books. I'd love to share with you our most recent update on its look made it more spacious and homey. Welcome to this home office tour episode. So behind me is my customized bookshelf. Before, I just have a bookshelf that I bought from the store and it is merely there to house some of our books. We don't have that much collection but we like keeping some of our favorites. And now we opted for customized cabinetry to make sure that everything that we need in the office it's properly stored. So let me show you. So one of the features in this bookshelf is this cabinet right here where we had it made to house our office equipment. So here on top is our printer. You can actually pull this out so we can easily access it and if ever we need to scan some documents. And then I just have here a basket to hold some of the um, extra cartridges. And below is our laminating machine and then I have here extra drawers for extra papers so these empty magazine holders right here is actually a system that I created before when my kids used to go to school because right now they're doing distance learning and I ask them to put in here their assignment notebook or if ever there are any circulars from school so that I can easily uh, know if ever I need to help them with their assignments. Just to form a habit, I ask them that if ever their assignment notebooks is not here, then it means that they, know the, they don't need help with their assignments. So thankfully, they were able to acquire that habit that after school, right away they get their assignment notebooks and put it right here let's say we receive letters or receipts everybody in the house just put it in this slot so that I can properly file it and it doesn't go lying around the house so maybe you can apply that in your homes too so for the books since we only have a few collection and these are some of our favorites I opted to arrange it by color just so it's easy on the eyes some will opt to arrange it by height or by genre, by author. But for me, it works that it is displayed by color. Uh, and I used some inserts here. Since we don't have a lot of bookends, I opted to use some items to um, ensure that the books won't fall off. So I use this basket and then there's a paperweight here and then I also use some deckers and a mix of dried plants and real plants. So I love propagating these kinds of plants. So this part of the bookshelf holds some of the important documents and collection that I have. Yes, I have a collection and to some of you who doesn't know, I actually Horn. <laughs> something that I really really love using I've been a user for um, three years now and it is Young Living Essential Oils I love essential oils how it helped my family maybe I will create another vlog about it but yeah actually I just received this the other day they sent me this uh, cute diffuser and oil holder but in this drawer <laughs> kahiya 
is where most of my oils are located. So I love that it's inside a drawer, so at least the oils are not exposed. Um, to those who are using essential oils, they know that the oil should be kept um, inside a dark storage so that it will not oxidize. But yeah, maybe that's a separate vlog. But these are my essential oils collection. Again, arranged like a rainbow. So this is where most of our files are but I will be creating a separate vlog about it so that I can teach you also how you can create a good filing system at home. And inside the third drawer is where I keep all my gift wrapping material. I would like to show you this one. This is actually a tea stand that I use for keeping our gift tags. And then I have here a box. I'll show it to you. And this is a tradition that I made for my kids. Every year, when my kids um, celebrate their birthday, I give them a card. And inside the card are some of their milestones and message that I want to tell them specifically for uh, that particular year. So all three of them have their own cards whenever it's their birthday. And on the last row, I use this baskets from Make Room just so it will feel a little bit more homey. And I store here again some extra paper, especially now in distance learning, no? Um, daming papel. <laughs> <laughs> daming kailangang papel. So, I made sure that we have enough stocks for all the printing that we need. And inside this cabinet is again some of the other files that I have. So, here I have here an accordion file for all of our manuals. So, it says manuals. And then I also have papers. So, I have here um, laminating paper, Oslo paper. So, different papers that my kids also use in their um, in school. And then, what else do I have here? Then, I also have receipts. So, these are receipts that I need for uh, my business because it's required so I keep some of the receipts and then I give this to my accountant and then she decides which of the receipts that we will be using for tax filing. Um, it's an added help also for her because it's sorted out already. And then I, oh, I have this fireproof case. I bought this from Lazada. And I keep here my business documents. So all my SEC and my BIR documents are here. Uh, maybe I'll include this when we discuss about filing in another vlog. But um, at least for some of the important documents that I need, especially for my business. Anything business related is in this office. So I just made sure that it's well kept in this fireproof case. So at least everything that I need now is in this office. So it's easier, it's more efficient, it's more functional. I have everything that I need in this space. So let's move on. Okay, so now we're here in our supply station because, you know, distance learning, ang dami-daming gamit na kailangan talaga. And I made sure that we have an area specific for the supplies that my kids will be needing in school. They have their own supplies in their rooms, but at least for extra ones. Kasi hindi mo alam, di ba, minsan, 
um, may kailangan and I don't want it readily available in their rooms kasi masasayang lang kasi minsan nilalaro nila. Okay, so this drawer I allotted specifically for some of our office supplies. Okay. So this first drawer is where I keep my professional organizer essentials and these are all my labeling machines. Everything that I use for labeling is here. So this is my most trusted labeling machine. This is the Casio KL120. I am also intending to do a vlog about it so I can explain it to you one by one. But I also have here a Canon selfie which helps me print out photos. Sobrang laking tulong, especially in school when the teachers are requiring them to print out family photos, solo photos. And um, from my phone, I can connect it to the printer and then it prints out the photo that we need. And this is where our extra supplies are located. So I use this photo boxes that I got from the container store in the US and I have here a label so that my kids can easily identify also what they need and they don't have to pull out all the boxes that they want. So they have here like all staple wires, tape, and then I use recycled bottles to keep crayons. So these are recycled I think dips jars so I just removed the the sticker and then make made it functional so yeah again I tried to segregate it by color below here is where I keep some of our excess uh, materials needed for filing I have here my receipt so this one is also another storage which is very helpful like for excess items so I have here excess photo boxes, so just in case I need to store another um, office material. So I have here extra. But here, I have here a... Ganito talaga siya. So it has like a big box where it can keep the photo boxes. But this one is a bigger size. See? This one is supposed to hold a 4R photo and this is 5R and this is where I keep our photos kasi diba parang ngayon hindi naman kailangan piniprint lahat ng pictures so we have this loose photos that it's easier to manage this way so I have for family Sabina, Stella, Sebastian and then our couple pics and then solo pics but it's nice to have like uh, multi-purpose furniture such as this because it gives you extra storage so that you can keep some of the items pa, um, out of sight. So now we move to my most favorite spot in the office. Weird kasi yun yung favorite ko, yung pinaka kung saan nagtatrabaho. But I really love this table. We had this made by Ukit Kapampangan, the same um, furniture maker that help me execute my dirty kitchen project and um, I love 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 this table because before kasi I have a tiny table here um, we bought that kasi supposedly just to house my essential oils nung una and then because ang dami nang nangyari naging workstation na siya but it's not really um, so functional especially when I'm doing assignments with my kids. We have to move pa to our dining table just so we have enough space. But right now, we have this very wide table that really serves its purpose. And I love it, the way they made it. And it's so clean to look at, no? This is a napkin holder that I got from Furniture Source. And it's nice. I use it to hold my thank you cards that... I use especially when I want to write down notes for my clients and uh, this is also from Furniture Source and then I have here a pen holder for, from Umbra. I got it in um, 
Garden Barn Ink in Instagram. And these pencils, sobrang cute. Galingan mo. So, meron siyang mga um, taglines in the pencil. Na I got this from Life After Breakfast, I think, in Instagram. I love it. This is actually either a pen holder or if you notice in my bookshelf, set ko siya na bile and you can also make it as a planter. So multi-purpose and functional din siya. And then we bought this mat from Lazada. You know, instead of having like a mouse pad, this is such a great idea kasi, um, I don't know, it looks more sleek and functional kasi kahit umabot yung mouse mo sa kabila. <laughs> Okay na okay siya. And then, I have here my pegboard na sobrang busy na ngayon because of the distance learning. So, I have to make sure that all the supplies and materials that I need, madali ko siyang makukuha. And look at this. I got this from Lazada and this is a pencil sharpener. So nice kasi if you have something like this that can act also as a decor, then pwede mo siyang i-display. So, I'll show you what's inside the drawers. And in the first drawer is where I keep all the cables and what else? Earphones, headphones, everything that we um, need when we are working nandito. So, like, these kinds of cables. And then, I'm so grateful because Bobino sent me this cable organizers. See? So nice because um, you can easily store all the cables. And you know, sometimes it takes so much time untangling the cables, lalo na pagkailangan mo. So this is so handy because you can put a label here. It says your earphones for lightning. So for our phones. And then this one is earphones jack. So it's a, it's a nice way for you to organize your cables. Okay, so for the second drawer, this is where most of our office supplies is kept. So, I have sobrang chica na stapler. <laughs> I got this from the container store. And tape dispenser, puncher, calculator, and then of course, binder clips. Sobrang useful talaga ng binder clips, especially if you want to um, keep things intact. So, it's very handy like when you are keeping receipts or papers. So, kailangan, kailangan ako talaga ng paper binder clips. For the third drawer, this is where I keep our active receipts. So, I make sure to file it here and then move it later on dun sa um, accordion envelope ko if it's needed in my business. But at least to keep track of our utilities, and some of our expenses, it's easier to have it this way. So you remember that I have a magazine rack where um, our helpers and also me put there yung mga nare-receive namin ng mga billing. And then later on when it's paid, I make sure na I keep it here and then later on move it to where it should belong. Every area of our homes holds a certain memory that we will always cherish. I am looking forward to creating more memories with my family in our newly updated home office. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay neat, everyone! One of the important items in this area is my book. I cannot imagine that I'm also now part of the collection and this, uh, this is a book that I've written. So. Siyempre, madami dyan. If ever you're going to visit our house, baka libreng copy. <laughs>